The way I like to describe it when a patient comes into our facility, the difference between physical therapy and occupational therapy is we cut you in half. Typically, physical therapy works on more lower extremity strengthening endurance, balance, transfers, OT more upper extremity strengthening endurance. We look at functionally, can you get yourself up and dressed and ready? And we looked at like a cognitive screen. Are they safe to be able to manage their money um, uh, and medications? We split the body, but we work as, as a whole on the patient. Initially, we do an evaluation, and that is their functional baseline for activities of daily living. So getting up dressed and ready, um, what can they do at eval? And we make goals to enhance their function, to return to their prior level of independence. So through strengthening neurological uh, enhancements, motor control, to enhance their function to get to their prior level of independence. As a base, occupational therapy increases your strength and endurance to enhance performance. So utilizing different weights, different machines to enhance that strength, to enhance your transfers and being able to get dressed. Our goal is to get that patient back to that prior living whether it's returning to their home, being as independent as possible. We will identify and assist with tools to enhance that independence. And that's a return to your home, uh, assisted living, group home, or even a skilled nursing facility. Therapy works on different motor, fine motor ex exercises that may seem remedial to them but it enhances their abilities to get them back to their prior level. My favorite, I guess, that a patient can carry through at home is picking up money, starting with a quarter, nickel, dime, or penny dime. Can they pick them up, manipulate them in their hand, and place them back on the table? And you can measure it. How many quarters can you pick up? How many can you manipulate in your hand and then place back on the table? So it's a measurable, and functional tasks that they can carry through at home. There's different services here that we provide, which is myofascial release, which is softening of that fascial and muscle tissue to enhance mobility and range of motion and decrease pain. Other interventions are like rock tape or kinesio tape. It enhances circulation, proprioception, and performance. Rock blades is another tool to soften that muscle tissue to decrease pain and enhance mobility. Rock pods or cupping is a compression or input into the body to soften that muscle tissue and again enhance mobility and you're working on the fascial, the muscle, lymphatic and neurological systems. Cognitive screen is usually we'll do a simple screen at evaluation to see if there are any questionable limitations that would cause a patient to not succeed at home. So it's a quick screen. If there's question, then uh, speech therapy usually is involved a little more invasively to identify more specific needs that the patient has. Typically on an outpatient basis, therapy is set up two to three times a week. If you're an inpatient here, it's five times a week, or depending on the need, it may be less until goals, objectives are met or not met. Each session lasts typically an hour, and depending on the duration, typically is set up for a month, um, but it will continue if, if there's still goals and objectives to work on or we're not being able to reach those goals. So if there's a plateau or a max potential in that patient, then therapy would be discharged. Patients will, will receive therapy and they may be done with therapy at the time. They may reach their goals and objectives, but weeks later or months later, they can have a decline and that's called for another therapy treatment session. So therapy can always be called in again, depending on the need. If the patient has needs, then it's justification for therapy. I think if 
anybody has any weakness or pain or limitations or difficulty with balance, that's a call for in intervention with therapy. If you feel that your parents have a decline and need help with activities, then that is time for a therapy intervention. I guess I take like a personal um, attachment. Um, these are somebody's parents or grandparents. And a lot of times they're repeat offenders. They come back, um, we see them either inpatient or outpatient. And so there's just an attachment while they're here and working with them and wanting what's best for them. Occupational therapy is a great thing for your, your family, your parents, your loved ones to enhance the independence that they can maintain as long as possible.